Hey everyone, I want to tell you a little bit of a story. I um, at one point was very shy being in front of people, very shy speaking my mind, being out there. I remember vividly my mom actually teasing me because I signed up for a play in grade four because we had to. Uh, and I signed up for one of those background characters that was just sort of like holding, I think it was like Christmas in Australia or something. And I was just a guy that had a boom box in the back and I literally was doing nothing. Um, and I think that really shy, it, that sort of shyness is because I like to know what I'm talking about and I like to have passion about what I'm doing. And a lot of times I think it's more important to listen than it is to speak. Um, but with time, I've... I've been able to sort of realize that I have very, I have accumulated a lot of, of information, a lot of passion, a lot of, of stuff that can help other people. And, and by staying quiet, I'm actually making, I'm doing a disservice to the people around me. And if I care about people around me, I need to positively influence. And I need to st stand up for things. I need to say things when they need to be said. I think I mentioned something like that previously. But the, the reason I say that is, is, is when I really needed some mentors um, couldn't afford at the time. Um, probably couldn't afford it now, but that's, not, that's a different point. Um, but I really looked online and I found sort of e-mentors and people that I listened to and I started listening to a lot of CDs and tapes and audio books and, and podcasts and YouTube channels and came across these wonderful people that were really big influence in the way I present and the way I, th I think. Things like people like Gary V. Eric Thomas, uh, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, Dale Carnegie, um, Anthony Robbins, Brendan Burchard. Like, there's a lot of lot of people out there. Um, and more recently, Joe Rogan, uh, Sam Harris. A lot of really cool people that uh, were motivating, really well spoken, and I think this has become one of my skills is. is sort of writing, communicating my, my message, um, building it out, um, and getting, getting into, into these sort of avenues where I can teach people. Uh, and the reason why I bring this up is because there was this one in particular speech from Eric Thomas, look him up, uh, E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher, he goes online, uh, Eric Thomas. He had this really famous speech called, uh, if you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And really it was sort of a metaphor where somebody wanted to really succeed and he asked somebody to help them out. And this person said, come to the beach. And he put him underwater. And he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe right now, then you'll be successful. And that sort of really spoke to me, that sort of hunger. If I sat there and I complained about things, I wasn't gonna get anywhere. And feeling sorry for myself wasn't going to help me. So I really took that as sort of a challenge. And I, and I just started to do things. Just more reading, more writing, as much as I can. Just always, always, always. And a lot of that's ingrained in me. But the point is that he was really motivating. And, and I remember that he, for years upon years upon years, would just release motivational videos every Monday. Every Monday without fail. Um, and he didn't really take off for like, years and sometimes when I think about how long I've been doing this and trying to get uh, enough notoriety to help more people uh, it is it can be frustrating so it's really helpful when I hear you guys talk about how it's in, in, impacting you because really that's my real payment uh, knowing that I've positively impacted you but let me bring this back around more full circle we need to find people that motivate you and help you with your perspective uh, you need people that are going to help you to think about tackling the day when maybe some of the voices around you are not that positive, or maybe they're not that po not that they're not positive, but they're detracting from what you want to do. So you want to find things that help you sort of stay in the zone long enough to hit the targets that you need to hit. So what I'm challenging you is find it, find a YouTube channel, find a podcast, find an audio book, find some speaker, something to help you. To, to keep that fire going because you're going to need it and I'm going to try my best to be that person for you as much as I can but I know that there's other people that have been doing this for longer so find those people surround yourself with those positive voices to help you 
to stick to it. Thank you.